Hey guys, I'm going to go through how I set up my um, vocabulary stuff. So when I'm doing my notes in my sketchbook, how I get these pages and how I get them laid out and how I make sure I have enough spaces for the kinds of vocabulary that we've got going on. So this is for our unit on the elements and principles and there are seven um, elements. So I have seven spaces and you may say, how'd you do that? And it's kind of easy. Um, and I didn't measure anything because I think I told you guys the other day, I'm not really interested in measuring stuff. So um, over here, there are six principles of design. So for me to make a chart for I can, so I can put the term and the definition in here, I am simply going to create a box with the space that I have on my page. And then I think about how many rows I need to have. I need to have six. So six is an even number, so I'm going to divide my box in half. Um, that means I need three rows above and three rows below. So I'm going to envision with my fingers a space where if, well, if my thumb and my forefinger were drawing a line, it would divide that space into approximately even thirds. So then I'm going, I did a practice with just my fingers and then I follow with the marker. Same thing here. There's the more, I think that those lines are gonna be dividing that space. And once I've got it envisioned in my head, it's not so difficult to draw the line across. Um, and then I need space for my term, which will be the principal. I need space for my definition. And just to keep things even, I um, number these just so that they're neat and everything's got where it needs. I also will put principal up here and definition over here. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to show you how to do, um, so the next page that I have, um, I flipped my sketchbook so it was long ways. So I've got to stand up real quickly, make sure you can see. There are 13 works, so to do that I'm going to do six spaces here and seven at the bottom. So the easy way to do that is to take my space and this time I'm not going to draw a line in the middle, I'm going to pretend that is the line. It's a good enough place to have a line. And this one's just like the one we did, so it's six. So I need to figure out where the halfway mark is. So that's approximately here. And then I'm gonna figure out my thirds. So I get three columns above and three columns below, excuse me, three rows. Here and here, and I'm gonna give myself a little extra room at the bottom because writing in that crease is kind of difficult. For fun, I'm gonna make sure that's there. And I'm gonna scoot this up so we can see the bottom of the page completely. Sorry if the microphone gets really loud at that point. So seven, I need seven rows down here. Seven is an odd number. So you're like, oh, wait a minute, we can't go right in the middle, and you're absolutely right. We need a row to be right in the middle. So right in the middle, I need a row. So instead of drawing a single line in the middle, I'm going to draw a row in the middle that gives me my middle row. And then I will actually divide the top space and the bottom space, just like I did before, envisioning a, the row with my fingers first and following with my marker. Didn't have to measure anything, didn't have to erase anything, um, and I'll go through better like when we actually get set up because we'll have a space to do a little sketch of the artwork, its title, um, the artist name, and like how it ties to the elements and principles. So we need a few different rows and or columns in here, but we'll do that later. All right, so last time, let's do this one more time. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you do this one on your own and I can't wait to see how it comes out. But there are studio vocabulary words that we use a lot and there are six of them. So you'll need a box that is divided into six rows. Good luck. <laughs> 